Good Wednesday, or pardon me, Thursday morning, everybody. I'm about a day behind here. Forgot to wind the sundial. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We are live and direct from Memphis, Tennessee this morning. Hope you've been having a great week so far. A little bit on the foggy side for this morning in parts of the Mid-South. We'll take a look and see what that looks like coming up here in just a little while. If you have any travel plans for today or tomorrow, not looking too bad, but we'll continue again to see some potential problems with thunderstorms as we go into the week. Weekend. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Rest of the forecast again into next week. We're still looking at the potential of some maybe some light amounts of winter type precipitation north of the Mid-South area. We're just not seeing all that much around and about the Mid-South, but we will be continuing to keep our eyes on that into the rest of the next couple of days. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll have more with Todd Demers throughout the rest of the morning on Daybreak and also on News Channel 3 live at 9. And we'll also have more coming up a little bit later on with Tim and Jim, so definitely want to stay tuned uh, for more information on that. Rest of the morning, again, not looking too bad across the area. We'll talk more about the complete forecast into the weekend coming up here in just a little while. I'll give me a second here while we get our Facebook viewers in and ready to go. And once again, we've got a very weak signal, even though we're sitting directly on top of the router, so I guess the Facebook thing is going to collapse here in any second. So while everybody's joining us here for just a little bit on Periscope Twitter, and Facebook for as long as it might last. Let's take a look at the Cough Temp Recommendation Index, otherwise known as the Cough Temp Dex. If a certain weather station on the cable system can do a Torcon and then, or whatever they call it, then I can do a Cough Temp Dex. Recommendation completely and totally tongue-in-cheek, uh, again, for a recommendation of anything uh, in regards to uh, what's going on with your forecast into the Mid-South. So what you're looking at here, uh, again, is just my recommendations for today. You're an adult, hopefully, so you can choose your coffee to, uh, or whatever beverage temperature you've got without burning the insides of your cheeks, your mouth, your tongue, whatever. So if that happens, don't blame me because this is just basically a parody forecast. In the meantime, the rest of the morning, it's one of those mornings to where it's just a little bit on the mild side out there. So it's kind of your call, whatever you want to do for iced coffee or maybe a hot cup of java for this morning. But into this afternoon, looking like we're probably going to see with the blue arrow there, uh, with temperatures on the mild side going back into the mid-60s, maybe a little bit of iced coffee to cool you down as you head into the afternoon hours. Might not be such a bad idea, so just something to keep in mind there. But once again, totally tongue-in-cheek. We'll feature this again when we have time and let you know more about what's going on across the area where coffee temperatures are concerned out there. Thank you very much for joining me for that much on there. Windy Country Club, golfers out and about this morning looking again at southeast Memphis. And the fog finally starting to break up a little bit, so we do have some blue skies and some f some high, thin, white clouds drifting on through the area. Some sunlight coming through here at House Onik for this morning, so getting a little bit more in the way of good news there. Fog also lifting around Germantown, not too far away from Windy Country Club. We've got, again, some fairly good visibility showing up here. Radar at this time, not much of anything to report, and doubtful we're going to be seeing too much of anything to see as we go into the course of the rest of the day, so just not looking at too much out there uh, in the way of precipitation for right now. But into the next couple of days, yeah, that could be just a bit of a problem, so we'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while on your complete forecast. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on out there, which again does involve some fog across portions of the Mid-South. You're looking at Clarksdale, Mississippi at Heidelberg Elementary on the News Channel 3 weather bug camera out there. So we are seeing again some little bit of patchy fog and some problems with driving in and around the Mid-South. Visibilities at this time, again, we've got numbers down to around two miles for the most part. We have seen visibilities up there again into around the near zero department. Uh, two and a half now improving around Dyersburg, so looking good there. Likewise, at West Memphis at the airport, two miles being reported down around Tunica. Do you mind? Sorry, I got a dog scratching down here on the other side. We just gave all these guys, a all these ladies, a bath about maybe a day or so ago. So hard to see that they're scratching again already. Jackson, four miles, also four miles down toward Batesville. So getting some visibility out across portions of the Mid South. Now, the National Weather Service continues its dense fog advisory in effect until nine o'clock this morning, but that could be again issued or canceled depending on how things go. Again, depending on if the fog lifts 
slips in time or if it doesn't. On top of that fog, we've got again a lot of clouds out there and seeing again a lot more cloud cover out across much of the area throughout the early portion of the day, but probably won't be seeing too much out there throughout the rest of the afternoon and into this evening, so not looking too bad for the time being. But again, looking at more sunshine coming on through throughout the rest of the day as a lot of this begins to dissipate out there. Fog is the main problem for right now in and around the Mid-South area, but notice that in the uh, hazardous weather outlook, the National Weather Service is noting a few strong thunderstorms possible across the Mid-South as we go into around Saturday. So that could be, again, something to pay attention to, especially if you have outdoor plans going on. Which cold front are we talking about? This one. As we get into around Saturday morning, there is going to be that possibility of this front slicing into some very warm and unstable air across the Mid-South Mississippi Valley area. So that's where we're going to be seeing, again, the potential for some problems as this next system swings in from off the Rockies and makes its way into the Mid-South area, giving us the potential of some stronger weather at least into Saturday morning. And then afterwards, looks like very dry conditions as high pressure brings in some very quiet and dry numbers right off the Rockies. So looking very good there as we go into the rest of the weekend. We might be seeing another system beyond this as we go into next week or so, as we go toward around Thanksgiving, but otherwise not doing too bad. We'll take a look at that coming up in just a little while. Rest of the day today, temperatures going back into around the upper 50s to lower 60s. Winds for today will be, again, <coughs> excuse me, mainly out of the northeast at about 5 miles per hour or less. Tonight, looking at mostly clear skies, so that means temperatures will drop into the upper 30s to right around the lower 40s. Getting into Friday, high temperatures, very mild, way above normal for this time of the year, back in the lower 70s. Winds will be turning out of the south, and they will be pretty breezy. Tomorrow's regular wind gust, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Wind gust tomorrow could be topping 20 miles per hour, so if you're driving on any east-west roadways, be prepared for some chop pushing against your vehicle. Could be, again, some driving hazards out there. Now, chances of rainfall not being seen too much for Friday afternoon. And even into around Friday night, we don't have a lot going on as we go into Friday evening. Could be some showers and thunderstorms for Friday night football playoff games. But the best possibility of thunderstorms, quick check of the low temperatures, only in the lower to mid-60s on Friday evening. High temperatures on Saturday will be set very early during the day in the upper 60s to lower 70s, and then chances of showers and thunderstorms will be spreading across the Mid-South as we go very early on Saturday, right on into Saturday afternoon and evening, getting rid of some of those showers and thunderstorms is going to take all day long. But here's where it gets very interesting as we get into around the area close to midday. Notice the winds are out of the south as we go toward News Channel 3 Daybreak on Saturday. As we head toward lunchtime, those winds start turning out of the west, and then as we get into around Saturday night, the winds will be coming in from out of the northwest, and that means some cooler temperatures coming on through, because lows Saturday night will be back in the lower to mid-30s, so it's going to be a big temperature shift as we get into the course of the next few days. D. Leach, uh, welcome to the show. Julia Cavallo, uh, thanks very much for watching for this morning. Burt Bishop, yeah, spring briefly uh, for the, about the next 48 hours, maybe or so, but we'll call it 36 to be on the honest side for right now. And that's going to be about as good as it gets. High temperatures on Sunday looking good, but a little bit cooler than what we see on Sunday or Saturday. Temperatures will be around 70. On Sunday, temperatures will be in the lower 50s for high temperatures, and that'll round out your weekend. Now, what are we looking for for severe weather? Again, does not look like anything happening at this time for today, so definitely good news from the Storm Prediction Center. Going into the next several days, again, there is going to be that potential of an enhanced risk of, or pardon me, a marginal threat of severe weather as we get into around uh, Saturday morning. So there is that potential out there for most of the Mid-South area. That's the dark green polygon that you see on screen. Light green indicates just the potential of thunderstorms. So Friday night into Saturday afternoon could be that potential for stronger weather heading into the Mid-South. So that could be 
uh, something to take a look at there. And we'll be keeping our eyes on that. You can bet here at News Channel 3, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Now, over the next several days, taking a look at weathercharts.eu, great website to take a look and see what's coming our direction. Uh, into this next several days, again, for Saturday, notice the blue colors on screen. That's mainly just rainfall out there. Purple indicates where the snow has already fallen. And, of course, white indicates where the snowfall is going to be coming down with orange making freezing rain in between there. Now, going into Sunday, not really much high pressure in control there keeping things very nice and quiet. But as we get into the early part of next week, there is the possibility of seeing another storm system swinging in from parts of Canada over the Great Lakes right around travel day for Thanksgiving. Perfect timing for that. And then right after that, as we go out of Thanksgiving and head into around the Friday afterwards, a couple of storm systems, one going in the exact same place, maybe causing some slowdowns between Chicago, New York, and Boston, and another what looks to be a fairly potential stronger winter storm back around the United States-Canadian border, dropping some pretty good amounts of snowfall out that direction. But so far at this time, as we go into the Sunday after Thanksgiving, one of the biggest travel days of the year, this is where we could see some interesting weather coming our direction. Just north of us, again, we see that potential of some of that white mixed in. Doesn't come any farther south than Paducah uh, into around southern Illinois. And keep in mind, this is way, way, way ahead of schedule. Uh, so this is just one potential forecast. Not going to be calling for snow in my forecast anytime soon, but there is going to be that potential of seeing some of that out there. And then afterwards, as we go into Monday, uh, right after Thanksgiving, as everybody gets back to work, East Tennessee from Nashville back over to Knoxville, western North Carolina, north of Georgia, up into the mountains. There could be the possibility of some snow mixed with some freezing rain, not unfortunately for the Mid-South area. So we're just not looking at too much going on there. More information on my forecast available on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash WREG if you'd like to know more about what's going on there. A great opportunity to find out more. Yes, the great big banner is blank. I don't know why Facebook is not letting me, my own uh, owner of the page, change it. It says I don't have the... Uh, credentials or whatever the permission necessary to do it. So I'm doing an existentialist banner cover for the time being, it looks like for right now. Thank you, Facebook, for that. Uh, stop by my Twitter page for more information. Again, that's twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3. Also catch me on YouTube. All kinds of great stuff available here, including the replays of all of our weather overtimes and some of the other stuff that I have featured on there for science, weather, and all kinds of other unique and interesting things available there. Our seven-day forecast available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to see more about what the forecast is from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. And don't forget, just started the 8 o'clock hour as, we record, as we're recording this. So once we get done here and you need repeat on the forecast, listen to Bob and Josh on Talkback Live, AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio in Memphis. If you can't listen on air because you're out of range, listen online at talkbacklivenetwork.org, and you can listen in on the computer from just about any place. A great opportunity to see more about what's going on in the forecast there. We'll have more details on the rest of the downward slide into the weekend forecast. Todd Demers on Live at 9 and on News Channel 3 at noon. Tim and Jim throughout the rest of the evening on News Channel 3. And, of course, I'll have your forecast here with weather overtime, so stay tuned for more on that. Live and direct from House Onyx, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more throughout the rest of the day with News Channel 3 on air and online.